it is may 15th today we have i think 27 days until the due date and i got my cervix checked today and i am two centimeters dilated so baby girl could come whenever she wants i could be two centimeters dilated for weeks or i could be two centimeters dilated till tonight like she could literally come tonight but yeah we are all ready for baby girl so we're yeah just waiting until she decides to come out we're gonna finish packing the hospital bag this week for sure it's mostly already packed but definitely need to finish it up just have it ready for whenever she comes that's the update may 15th two centimeters dilated and i go every week now so we'll see what i am next monday if she lasts till then i hope she does i hope i'm only 36 weeks right now today so hopefully she lasts a little bit longer but we will see i'm ready for her whenever she wants because period i'm uncomfortable and i'm ready to live my life normally i'm ready to bend i'm ready to not run out of breath talking to you guys like literally it's time and i obviously want to hold my baby girl so yeah that's the update hello it is may 25th i have started drinking raspberry tea on monday um i hit 37 weeks i'm two centimeters dilated so yeah i just figured it's time to start doing the things to get it going get the labor going yeah i've just been drinking on it the past couple of days i have a pitcher full of it so yeah i've been drinking it the past couple of days see if it'll do anything i don't know but i got a bouncy ball yesterday so yeah i'm probably just gonna sit here and bounce on my yoga ball look up some exercises i've been going on walks this week it's just time to do the things to help induce myself into labor so i just had my 38 weeks appointment and i got my induction date so june 14th at 9 a.m we will be going to go get induced hopefully baby girl is here before then i really want her to come out all on her own but at least we know she will be here by june 14th on june 14th if she's not so yeah that is pretty cool that is the update i am pretty nervous for anything if i have to get induced or just naturally because yeah i'm just hoping the epidural works for me and goes smoothly and yeah just hoping birth in general goes smoothly okay so i have been up since like 3 a.m with contractions they weren't super like consistent in the beginning but they're starting to get a little consistent like every 10 minutes and i called like the overnight like number to talk to an ob on call she told me that if they get five to ten minutes just to come get checked out and uh, i don't know if i should jose's at work and i'm scared to like make him come home and it be a false alarm but at the same time i rather just get checked because at my ob appointment i was already three and a half four centimeters so i'm scared i'm already at like five six which is like active freaking labor at that point i don't know i don't know what the heck is going on i've never been through this before may or may not be going to the hospital i think i'm gonna get everything just ready just in case um obviously like we have the bags packed and stuff but there is like a little last minute uh, stuff that we need to pack so yeah i might do that real quick and just see how i'm feeling while i'm like walking around and moving around and stuff i will update you guys okay so it could be the baby day maybe i don't know we're gonna go get checked jose's on the way i told him to stop and get me food because yeah i don't want to be starving while i'm in labor i probably will be either way if it's gonna take a while but at least I can get something in me before we go because I'm already hungry. It just could be baby day, honestly. Like, I was already three and a half, four centimeters on Monday. 
and if I'm anything past four, I think that they'll keep me. So, yeah, we're gonna go get checked and we'll see what happens. Could get sent home, could not, I don't know. My due date is on Monday, either way. So, and then I get induced Wednesday, either way. So, but I just don't think she's gonna wait until her induction date. I think she's coming, if not tonight, tomorrow, or the next day. That is my opinion. But yeah, today is June 8th on a Thursday. So we'll see when she decides to um, arrive. I did straighten my hair just a little bit, not like perfect. And put some moisturizer on, put some tinted moisturizer on. So yeah, um, we just have to pack like a few things like the laptop and stuff and then eat and we are probably gonna head to the hospital but yeah i think i'm gonna put these fake nails on because yeah i got them so that i had them for my induction day but in case she comes the next couple of days which i think she is i'm gonna just put them on now period it's baby day <laughs> hey it's baby let's show them your contractions Oh yeah, you just had a big one right there. yesterday which honestly like we didn't, it wasn't planned like I it all happened so fast so that's why I like no footage and I'm just explaining to you guys now but basically I was contracting from 3 a.m. to um, like 9 a.m. and I didn't know if it was like the real deal because they weren't consistently like three to like three to four minutes three to five minutes you know that people say like to let it get to that point and stuff but so yeah and like sometimes it would be 30 minutes sometimes it would be 20 minutes sometimes it would be four minutes so it just was very irregular still so i thought it was like false labor oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah um they were getting worse and worse by 9 a.m. So I had Jose come home from work so we could just come to the hospital and get checked. And I was just hoping that I was a little bit more dilated than three and a half, four centimeters like I was on Monday. And I came in and they checked me. And he's like, do you, he's on the cervical check. He was like, do you want the epidural? And I was like, well, do I need it? And he said that I was six, seven centimeters. So I was like, I guess so. Like, let's do this. And he was like, Are you sure that? Like, you're handling it really well. I was like, Yeah, I mean, I want the epidural for sure before I give birth. But I don't know why. I just was expecting the contractions to be like so much worse than they were. Okay, let me deal with this rat's nest real quick and then I'll keep talking. Okay, I think that's the best it's going to get for now. But yeah, he asked me that and like everything just happened just so fast. Like we were in triage around like 11, 11.30 whenever he was asking me that. And then he told me that I was at that far along. So they were like, it's go time. Like we're keeping you. So after that, things just really got rolling. Um, we were in our labor and delivery room, delivery room by like two and I was already like epiduraled up by then and everything and yeah the epidural was definitely a lifesaver like the contractions were bad like I definitely like especially towards the end whenever I was in the labor and delivery room and they told me that like it was gonna be like another hour and a half till the anesthesiologist or whatever the hell it's called is coming to put it in my back 
I was like stressed because they were getting bad and I was like breathing through them and stuff but yeah so the epidural definitely helped I did not feel any contractions after that and I was just ready like he was doing cervical checks and everything didn't feel it like he broke my water didn't feel it so I was like okay after they broke my water it was time to go and she was out by 337 like it literally all happened so fast so yeah I had a baby <laughs> and she's not in here right now she is getting her hearing test done but yeah I didn't have to get induced my induction date was next Wednesday and then my due date my real due date is next Monday I think yeah Monday and she came June 8th on a Thursday so I am happy but yeah she is the most precious and beautiful baby girl ever yeah we're obsessed um, labor was super easy they were all really proud of me for my first kid I only pushed for like 30 minutes and it was not bad at all but yeah overall my labor experience was pretty positive i'm just happy that we have our baby girl with us definitely just gotta take it easy the next couple weeks and hopefully heal and be 100 percent but yeah that is the update for now labor went good a baby girl is here and i'm about to just get ready for the day so what is up guys so i clearly have way more footage than i thought i did because I thought that I only had the hospital footage, so me talking to you guys and then what Jose took of Myla in the hospital, I thought that is all that I had for you guys, but clearly I forgot that I was like updating you guys towards the end of my pregnancy and I also was literally filming while I was contracting and in labor, full term labor, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, my birth went super smooth, it is so peaceful, like looking back at that whole day, like it's so peaceful and it's literally the best day of my life like it all happened so fast and so peaceful and easy so i'm so blessed for that because i do know that that does not happen for everybody and i was really like i expected the worst so i don't know if that's why it made labor easier or if my labor was just super easy i literally was just expecting the worst contractions were like to me not that bad whenever i was literally contracting for that many hours but i showed up to the hospital and i was that dilated so i was in shock like they were bad like i had to breathe through them but i thought that like the contractions had to get to the point where i literally was like okay like we need to go to the hospital right now like i'm screaming wanting to cry type shit you know like in the movies kind of that's what i was kind of expecting and no it was literally like i was contracting for a long time but they were super irregular so i didn't know like if it was the real deal or not and it didn't even get too bad until like i took the jose to come home and we had to go to the hospital because that's whenever i started getting really bad but yeah i was in full term labor in those clips that you guys saw and yeah i it all went so peaceful and i'm so happy with my birth story epidural was a literal lifesaver like i can't imagine giving birth like without that because the contractions were getting so much worse whenever i was actually in the hospital waiting for my epidural they were getting bad so i just cannot overall imagine doing it without the epidural so props to the ones that can do that because that is crazy um postpartum wasn't too bad for me i'm finally like you know good i already had my first period and everything it's six weeks from whenever i gave birth she'll be six weeks this week so yeah um postpartum wasn't too bad for me i definitely um like could make a video on like the things that i actually used in the hospital and the things that i used postpartum because i did not use half of the things that i thought i was going to so yeah all these tiktok people that are like making you think you need this this and that like i did yeah you don't myla is the best baby we could have not asked for a better easy baby honestly she literally only cries whenever she's hungry or like uncomfortable she loves bath time which is awesome i thought that like every bath time would be like torturous to her because in the hospital whenever they gave her her first bath she was that was the first time we ever heard her cry cry 
and yeah so i was like oh my gosh this is what we're gonna have to deal with when we give her baths but no she literally loves them so yeah her name is myla journey and there is no specific reason why that is her name it was just the only girl name that we absolutely loved was Myla and then like Journey. It just sounds so good. Myla Journey Rodriguez. She was eight pounds, two ounces um, whenever she was born, which is way bigger than what I thought it was. I said that my tummy like wasn't too big whenever I was pregnant. I was like, my tummy isn't even that big. But like looking back at it now, I'm like, dang, like I was kind of big. Like I, I could have held an eight pound baby in there, which I did, so but yeah like whenever they put her on a scale like should they put her on my chest and i was like oh my gosh she's so tiny like to me she was tiny and then they put her on the scale and i said eight pounds i was like what <laughs> and like whenever she was like two weeks old three weeks old whenever we were starting to get her out everybody was saying that's a big baby like that's a big healthy baby and i was like oh my gosh like how did i give birth like a vaginal birth to an eight pound baby but I'm a superhero I did that but yeah I basically just wanted to come on here at the end of this video and update you guys how it is going I'm sorry I haven't been like on YouTube or anything lately because I've just been enjoying this mommy time soaking it up she's already like she's already grown out of her newborn clothes like she's growing up so fast I mean she was eight pounds whenever she was born so I understand that but like I can just tell like her hair is growing but she had a full head of hair whenever she came out I can tell her hair is growing I can just tell she's getting longer and bigger so yeah but we had our one month appointment already and they said she's measuring perfect everything looks good so that's good whatever i think about the fact that she's gonna grow up like i literally could get emotional like i'm just soaking up every day that i have with her I don't know if I've ever said on YouTube that I'm like a stay-at-home mom or like that I'm gonna be a stay-at-home mom, but that is what I do. I just literally stay home, take care of my girl while babe goes to work and takes care of us. So I'm super blessed that he, you know, was down for that for me to be at home all the time with her. I just know that I wasn't feeling like taking her to a daycare. We don't really have like help around that we can rely on anybody, so yeah i love it though i love being a stay-at-home mommy it's literally been like my dream like this is like my dream job like i don't want to work i want to stay at home with my kids you know that's always been like my dream oh also there's this app that i use to um like track her feedings and her diaper changes and things like that it's called huckleberry so if you're a new mom or about to be a new mom um huckleberry i really recommend that app you can also keep track of like other things too i just like seeing how many ounces she takes in a day when her last feeding was and like same with diaper changes i like being able to see how many peas poops and when i last changed her diaper and stuff because they ask you at the doctor you know how many ounces does she take and how many diapers and everything so i just like keeping track it really helps but yeah basically life is good we love our little baby girl i will post some pictures on the screen for y'all so you guys can see more of her all right i'm about to go hang out with baby girls so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe i really freaking appreciate it and i will see you guys next video bye